Hello, I'm Jim Carlucci, the community editor of the Trenton Downtowner, and welcome to the next in our installment of interviews with Trenton's business, civic, and cultural leaders, co-produced with Kevin Moriarty's Skydog Media. Today we're visiting with William E. Maxson, a designer, uh, a writer, and a hip-hop entrepreneur who has created the characters of the hip-hop cats to try to teach children uh, their alphabet and to uh, encourage them to read through the use of, of rap and, and hip-hop. Uh, thanks for having us with you today, uh, William, and uh, talking to us. Why don't you um, tell us a little bit about, you're from Lakewood originally. Yes. Uh, how yes. did you come to the Trenton area and, and lead into, uh, how, how did you come to create the hip-hop cast? Mm -hmm. Okay, I came to the Trenton area uh, by way of a young lady. Um, we were in a drill team association together. Um, uh, both of us uh, had drill teams, uh, urban drill teams, to, uh, address, uh, of course, youth activities, especially in the urban area. What led you to create the Hip Hop Cats? Myself, I couldn't read until I was in the fifth grade. Um, there was a, a technique, uh, I guess a phonics uh, program, in which a teacher uh, had given us a, a rhythm, a rhythmic way of uh, saying the alphabet. And it basically goes, uh, Abacada, Effa, Gaha, Ija, Kala, Manapakwa, Russ. Put a, put a ta, rhythm uh, on it. To, so, you know, uh, that's what helped develop and interest me into wanting to learn uh, words and learn how to uh, apply myself more because I was a little intimidated since the fact I couldn't read very well or couldn't read at all. Um, this just motivated me to want to uh, create something uh, from hip hop which has a rhythmic, uh, use words in a rhythmic way, which a lot of kids pick up easily. Dr. Seuss has been doing it for the past 101 years. I figured to take hip hop and apply it the same way. A friend of mine, Vincent Carpio, uh, who's the illustrator of the book, uh, came up with the concept of something called uh, uh, Run DMC Cats, which were, of course we know the Run, DMC, mm -hmm. Run DMCs, is a rap artist and one DJ. Well, I figured to break it down into call it something called it just the hip hop cats, which all four elements of hip hop would be represented. Uh, the four elements of hip hop are uh, the DJ, the, uh, the MC, the break dancer, and the graffiti artist. And um, and I created characters that represent all four of these elements, which is, and they have all, they all have names. You have DJ Cat Scratch, you have Tiger Mike the MC, you have Flip the Breakdancer, you have Hiss the Graffiti Artist. And what these characters are going to do is teach kids how uh, to read, just as well as their math, science, Eng English, you know, all, all these different uh, uh, STEM type of subjects can be applied to a Line. So um, it'll make it more fun for the kids to pick up a book to read and get involved in their core subjects by giving uh, something that is a, a popular uh, music of the society today. Um, it's easily to be applied in an educational way and that's what the Hip Hop Cats is all about. Before you created the, these characters and, and took off on this, on this um, learning part of it, you were involved, t at least tangentially, with the hip-hop uh, business anyway, isn't yes, it? Yes, I'm, I'm also a fashion designer, and uh, I'm, I'm, I consider myself one of the original uh, hip-hop fashion designers. Um, from, from the time I, I started sewing back in 1978, uh, I was creating somewhat, you might as well say it was hip hop fashion because I created a velour sweatsuit with hoodie on, hood on it, pouch pockets, you know. Um, I put my name on the sleeve, down the side of the pants, on the back. At this particular time, this uh, individual by the name of Mark Echo, is Echo Wear, he's uh, one of the top brands of hip hop fashion. He uh, had come to my shop a couple times and uh, was able to see some of my hip hop fashions, which uh, he wasn't even doing hip hop fashions and he was only doing airbrush t-shirts and screen printed shirts. There's a little history with hip hop fashions because Mark Echo is one of the bigger uh, hip hop fashion designers in the market today. So 
I'm, uh, I feel that I'm, I'm one of Mark Echo's mentors, you know, <laughs> even though he's the millionaire now and I'm still the uh, five dollar there. <laughs> So from, so. so from hip hop fashion, uh, and, and, and as a parent, and, and as somebody who struggled with reading skills uh, early on in your life, you, you kind of synthesized all this and brought it all together and you, and you created the, the, the book. So the book self-published, or are you working through a publisher? How did, how did you accomplish that? It's self-published. Uh, come to find out that uh, publishers want so, big, so much of a big uh, percentage of your uh, proceeds, it's hard for you to actually uh, um, survive off of that kind of uh, uh, agreement, mm -hmm. you know. Um, it's more uh, financially uh, beneficial to do something like that yourself and then let uh, <clears throat> a publisher approach you with a, uh, an opportunity rather than um, relinquishing your rights and not able to uh, retrieve them. Mm -hmm. And and how are you? How is it available? How is it? Uh, well, online. Mm -hmm. It's available online, and and uh, you can call me personally to uh, purchase a a book. A um, couple stores I had it in. Uh, they they have sold them. Um, not many. I haven't sold that many, but it's been better. I've sold more to people personally. When when did the uh, when did you publish the, the first book? When did it actually um, did you have it in hand, ready to in hand? sell or give away? <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Uh, it's been like two years. Two years ago. Okay. Yeah, two years ago. Uh, I was able to get it um, published. You know, uh, barn. You know, mm -hmm. scraping, sacrificing, made it happen. You know, I have a couple. Uh, things that need to be addressed in this first book is when you, you're excited about something, an idea, a concept, you know, you you ignore some certain things before uh, uh, you really uh, take the true steps to uh, make it happen. And that's editing and, you know, going through those kind of things, mm -hmm. which I didn't do. You know, I, I had some people look at it, read through it, they said it was okay, but you need a professional editor to actually look through it. But overall, um, the book has a, a large appeal. Kids love it. Um, I also have characters, uh, live characters that I have created, you know, uh, that I have costumes for. For all four of the characters? No, just, uh, just two. Just two, two characters. One, one, the main character, Tiger Mike, mm -hmm. and then I have uh, an off character, which is um, part of another group of, of the hip hop. Uh, Cats, which are called the Hip Hop Pack. Um, of uh, his name is uh, MC Copycat. Um, <clears throat> hip MC Copycat is for uh, the younger generation of kids. It uh, preteen. What, what okay? The pre for preteens. Uh, they're they're um, they're puppies and kittens. That's what okay. the abbreviation okay. means. Puppies and kittens. And MC Copycat is one of the, the MC of the uh, Hip Hop Pack. You know, uh, you have the and, and they're, they're puppies and kittens, but they're girls and boys. So uh, this is where, you know, um, kids get opportunity to see themselves or, you know, as a younger uh, group of hip hop characters, you know, and MC Copycat has a rattle for a, a microphone. <laughs> and, so what's and next? That. What's next for, for, for you and the hip hop cats? The, and, the next thing is just to get all four of my characters. So I can create a live stage show, you know, uh, with four characters, I can produce a, a decent live show. And uh, I do have a doll also called Tiger Mike. And Tiger Mike is a, a talking doll, which repeats uh, a minute of your conversation. Well, you certainly have, uh, I think, a lot of potential here. You've, you've been thinking a lot about this, and, and uh, it's a, I think it's a really good, positive thing that you're working on. Mm -hmm. So I appreciate you taking the time out to talk with us today. Mm -hmm. For Community News Service LLC and Kevin Moriarty's Sky Dog Media, I'm Jim Carlucci. Thank you for watching.